from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. And do this because you know the time. It is the hour now for you to awake from sleep. For our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. The night is advanced. The day is at hand. Let us then throw off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us conduct ourselves properly as in the day, not in orgies and drunkenness, not in promiscuity and licentiousness, not in rivalry and jealousy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the desires of the flesh. Now, that may seem like a strange reading for Advent <laughs> on one hand, talking about the deeds of darkness and the sins of the flesh. But on the other hand, don't we wait and long in a dark world? And don't we struggle within ourselves at times with darkness as we await with great longing and love the light that is to dawn Christ Jesus. The line I'd like to focus on for a few moments, though, is this one. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ. What does that intriguing image mean? St. Paul uses that and others similar to it many times in his letters. Well, let's start by thinking about what we do when we wake up in the morning. After we pull the covers off, we get dressed for the day, but we wear more than clothing. Attitudes, judgments, demeanor. Sometimes we wear a smile or a frown. We project hope or cynicism. But what St. Paul is saying that we should wear is Christ himself. In fact, in Galatians, he said, all of us who are baptized in Christ, have put on Christ. You see, the beauty of the incarnation is that Jesus put us on. He took on our flesh so that he could share with us his divine life. And this is what we celebrate at Christmas. He put us on so that we might put him on. And when we do, we're clothed with his light and his love and his glory. We wear him as a covering. And by doing so, he's our divine protection. He's our divine strength. When Christ is over us, he can transform our minds and our hearts to speak to us direction for each decision we make, forming us moment by moment more and more into his likeness to share his very glory with us. As St. Paul says in the letter to the Colossians, we are hidden in him. When God looks at you, He sees his beloved son. And he loves you with the same affection and love. When we put on Christ Jesus, the light of the Father that reflects off of the glory of Jesus' face is the same light then that reflects off of us into the world. And it's a magnet for other people to be drawn to this God who is rich in mercy. He took on our image that we might take on his and reveal his face and love to the world. And this is the wonder and the gift of the incarnation. So let's make it our goal every morning as we pull off the covers to put on the Lord Jesus Christ. 
what a tremendous difference it will make as we receive his very joy and the deepest meaning for our lives.